it's actually been a few days we have officially moved in we did a puja and um <laughs> I asked for the puja. I asked my mom that I wanted somebody to come and do like a proper blessing. And I'm not just talking about just, you know, so in our culture, we basically just um, boil milk. It's like, it's like the housewarming that you do. So it's like, that's how you kind of, um, yeah, that's a housewarming, I guess. You boil milk on your stove and that's how you kind of open the kitchen and open the house and stuff and have people over. Um, but then when you do like a puja, you do something called a shanti or santi. It's where you're basically doing an actual ritual where you're just getting rid of um, like anything negative, anything bad, anything evil, whatever it is. And for me, being a Christian, it didn't, I didn't mind because at the end of the day, to me, God is God. Anyway, that's a completely different conversation to have on another day. Um, so I already know people are probably gonna be like, I already had this when I mentioned it on Instagram that I'm doing a puja. People were messaging me saying, uh, but I thought you were a Christian. But anyway, the point is, I was praying to God and I was asking for this house to be blessed. And weirdly enough, our builder never came back after that. So yeah, like he basically never stepped into the house he was outside of the house but he wouldn't step into the house which is weird i mean i believe in all of this stuff so for me that was just a sign that he just wasn't meant to be in the house at all and um yeah so we ended up sacking him basically let me show you why no um that's just an example <laughs> of how they left the house okay so they weren't going to do anything and the painting is honestly crazy and the way they've done um like it's yeah it's it's pretty bad um it's a it's a lot worse downstairs a lot worse um but we have new builders in who we should have picked initially because that guy did my parents house and my uncle's house so i'm just like but he just wasn't available when we needed this house to be done serves us right for picking somebody else but um yeah anyway so he's here and he looked at the house and he just laughed and he was like there's a lot to be done and we have to strip so many things down and we have to redo so many things and it's it's really frustrating because we're going to be basically pay a lot more than we um planned and we're broke as hell like i'm literally counting pennies guys like doing house renovations is oh my god as you guys know we have new builders in the house and i'm sure you guys can already see the difference it's looking so clean and neat so we've done this wall paneling just in the corridor going through to the kitchen let me show you how the living room looks okay so this is the wall paneling that we did for the dining area and living room doesn't this look amazing got all the blinds up as well This. These are the kitchen units at the moment. I mean, it's all fixed, it's all working. And as you guys remember, like it's like a slight sage. I think you can see it better in the light now with this black worktop. We've got this marble. So here we have Sevra Sanne or Mama. I don't know. He's the one that basically came and rescued us and saved our lives. And he's doing everything. Then we have Mano here. Hi. <laughs> And Sibin, hi. <laughs> and they're doing an amazing job. So excited. So this is, um, so basically these are the black and white tiles that we did all throughout and it goes into like the side of the uh, kitchen. So then what we basically did is get this door. So let me show you when it's closed. And I was really adamant that I had a glass door because then when you're walking into the house, you can see the black and white going all the way through. I feel like it just opens up the space. Um, so that's really nice. And then here, have the toilet. So we've, we've done the black tiles all through. It was meant to be black tiles and then this wallpaper that I had bought, but unfortunately the previous builders didn't, they forgot and then they did tiles, but it actually looks kind of cool. It looks very, um, very retro. So here's the toilet. Uh, this sink, we're still figuring out where to put. So it's just like a little cabinet, tiny toilet we have. So we've got like the wall um, 
paneling coming through here as well so it just adds that little bit of detail and our porch still needs to be done so this is not even our main door yeah there's still a lot to be done <laughs> that's the outside condition at the moment so that's our sofas it couldn't fit through our house so what Severa Sanna is doing is cutting out the window <laughs> you basically said if the window breaks then there's nothing I can do about it <laughs> House is complete, well almost, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Coming in, this is our corridor, so I'm just going to open this up so you can see it with good lighting. Um, this is all complete, we didn't want to put any artwork in, we probably need to paint over this again. The, um, yeah, the staircase is new, it's dirty because we use it so much, so we are considering getting carpet done, but we're still unsure because we like the look of the way it looks. Only it looks a little bit dirty, but oh well. And then we've got this beautiful little piece from Vaunt Design. I'll put the link up on, um, you know, in the description. And we thought this looks so cool because it's just like so different. It's got, you know, obviously uh, the details, it's got the marble top and it goes, it's just like a focus. Like when you come in, it's just like a lot of focus point. And then, we built this little mini toilet right under the staircase. We call this our airport toilet, like or airplane toilet. It's like tiny. It also reminds me of um, Harry Potter. Like we could have done the green, but um, this is quite cute. And it's just like little guest toilet. I'm gonna take you straight to the living room. This has been such a change. Like we have the chimneys there on both sides. We insulated all the walls, all the radiators are new. This is my Pinterest inspired decoration. So we did the green, the moss green and the sort of burnt orange. And I followed that through and brought some burnt orange chairs over here as well. And then we did all this paneling. Um, these little lights are from Next. That furniture over there, the TV console is from John Lewis. Um, we specifically wanted something really small um, since our space here is, is not that big and we got these massive sofas. Um, you obviously saw in my previous vlog, um, you know, that we got these Bryony sofas in the screen. And I loved this tray. It's like massive, real wood. Got it from Etsy just so that we can use it. Now, the reason we chose um, food stalls instead of an actual coffee table is because we, when we host and we host a lot, we sort of move this around so that people can sit on these footstools as well. Um, yeah, so this is like our little living room. That is such a nice focal point because that little light is from Ikea. And the little marble tables that were really heavy as well, it's actually from Primark. Um, that painting we brought back from Malaysia. And then these two paintings are bought from Tate Modern. Um, just the posters uh, and then framed it in an Ikea frame. The table and the bench, you guys know where we bought it. It was also from Lounge and just like little details. Um, I think my husband moved this a little bit. It's meant to be more in the middle. Um, so this is the table that we usually use for um, hosting. Um, it's not a table that we sit in um, a lot anyway. But yeah, this is our little living room. It's just clean and yeah, eclectic, I would say. So there's two ways to go into the kitchen. We can use those beautiful double doors. And as you guys noticed, obviously from uh, the previous vlog, we've got the glass door and then going on to, we honestly now in hindsight, we wish we had more space and we wish we used that little corner over there without the radiator and put kitchen units top and bottom just for space. This is where we sit the most. As you can see, my computer is there. We both work on that computer a lot and we love this space because it has the most light. You know, we can make our food, um, eat while we work or um, we move this out of the way when we have friends or cousins come over for game night. 
Um, so yeah, so then you can sort of, in the summer, we usually open this up. Okay, I need to put some oil on that. <laughs> so in the summer, we usually um, open it up and then it's nice, but in the winter, obviously we keep it all um, closed. Oh Jesus, that's loud. Um, but yeah, air fryer. This was a really good housewarming gift. It's actually a sparkling water maker. Um, we normally have a steamer out as well when we're cooking, rice cooker. Um, we rarely use the oven because we air fry everything. Uh, microwave, coffee area. We have been considering um, doing some kitchen units here as well to just basically, um, yeah, put a coffee station over there. But this is the kitchen. And as you can see as well, like we've got a smaller window now because we brought the boiler down. So then we had to close off that wall. Um, and then from the previous video as well, you know that we knocked all of this down. We built a roof. Um, we kept the, that same window. We did consider doing like two massive glass sort of doors um, just to give us more light. But at the time it was just too expensive. So we just kept it the way it is. But yeah, this is our kitchen. Right, so this is my walk-in wardrobe. Well, mine and my husband's. My husband only gets like a small little corner. This is where I create most of my content. It's like where I've got my makeup and you know, my tools, makeup, extra things. And then all my clothes and bags. At the moment it's color coordinated because it's winter and I thought I'll just leave out all my beige and cream and blues <laughs> and blacks. Um, but then in the summer it's like a lot more colorful. And then I've just got this little section for my bags and shoes. Um, but yeah, and then I have this special little corner, which I love, is my saris and my blouses. So at the moment I've got these two out because I'm going to create content with them, but this is like usually my corner. And yeah, let me show you the next room. So this is our bedroom. Um, very neutral and very plain in comparison to all the other rooms. We got those little tables, which I love, by the way, from Etsy. We've got two. The lamps are from um, Ikea. Uh, the bed is Dunham, I think. I've got the link up. Um, it's meant to be mauve. I actually wanted a mauve color. It did say mauve, but it looks more gray. It's like a gray browny sort of color. Um, so then I stuck to those kind of themes. I just went with like earthy tones a little bit with the greens, the beige. Um, yeah, and then I've got a snake plant in that corner. Now we had to bring our bookshelves over here because we're still figuring out um, a guest room in the last room. Um, my husband's charging his uh, electric toothbrush. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is probably the only room that I feel like is a little bit incomplete. Yes, it looks clean and tidy and it's nice, um, but we're thinking of maybe putting some paneling up here as well and then custom making um, a shelving unit that goes all the way up to the ceiling and then um, we have a bit more space because right now if you can see I've doubled up on the books this is a lot wider so I feel like walking through it it's just not enough space um, so we want to utilize this room as much as we can so this is still to be continued well the bathroom is the same nothing has changed except we added our toiletries the one thing that I'm gonna um, tell you guys about is are these uh, marble trays and little, um, what are they, holders, I guess. Um, these are from Amazon and they're really cool because they go with um, the bathroom. And now that we've used this bathroom quite well, we do feel like we should have gone with the marble at the bottom as well and made it all the same. Um, this now looks a little bit too busy for us, but it's okay, you know, you learn. And um, I, I've mentioned this before, I hate that black as well really does bother me but it is what it is it's like little things that you learn and see but otherwise we do love this bathroom for a change i don't have a bun i'm still in my um jogging bottoms and sweater and stuff but at least my makeup is done <laughs> um but yeah that's our house like i said the bedroom i still feel like we're unsure um, and the staircase, maybe the, you know, maybe a carpet. Other than that, we're really happy with the way the house turned out. Obviously it was a whole long process. Um, I don't think, and we both agreed to this, I don't think we will ever, ever want to renovate anything ever again. I don't think we would 
you know, we are hoping to buy a bigger house um, just because we would really like my mother-in-law to come and stay with us more often and have more space for her and my parents as well, they can come and stay over. We host, I have a lot of cousins uh, and friends who live abroad, who have families and kids and we just kind of want a bigger house so that we can always host and have people around. We both love it. So um, yeah, it's in, it's in the works anyway, so let's see. Um, and if we do that, then we're never, ever, ever going to buy a house that's, that needs work. It's something that doesn't work for us. Me and my husband hated every second of renovating. Yeah, once the house is done, it's fun to do all the furniture shopping and decorate, but the renovating where you have to deal with contractors, builders, where they quote you one thing and then it changes and then, oh, it's it's been a nightmare, honestly. And we spent double of what we actually thought we were gonna spend. So it really gave us such a financial strain for a really long time. And we're only now, after a year, um, recovering from it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, we do love this home. It's just like really cute and cozy for us. And I hope you guys enjoyed the process. I know the video was so all over the place. Um, I just never done a vlog where I've been collecting, you know, content over a course of a year of a year and then putting it together. So it was a little bit challenging, but I hope um, it was still enjoyable and I hope this was inspiring. Um, as Like I mentioned before as well, I'm gonna put all the links up um, in the description box so you, you guys can see where we bought everything as well. Uh, if I've missed anything, please do ask in the comment section. I'm happy to share everything we've done um you know and how much things have cost us and things like that i'm going to be very open about it so you can ask um but yeah that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this video um please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't watched the first part watch the first part as well um and that's it until next time